Roblox Anime Reborn Traits Tier List and Reroll Guide. Unlock the best traits and maximize your units. When it comes to dominating in Roblox Anime Reborn, traits are your secret weapon. Whether you're a seasoned player or a newbie, understanding which traits are the best for your units can make or break your success. In this detailed guide, we'll walk you through the Roblox Anime Reborn Traits Tier List help you understand the best reroll strategies, and show you how to enhance your units to reach their full potential. By the end of this article, you'll be ready to reroll with confidence and equip your units with the strongest traits in the game, getting traits and why they matter. In Roblox Anime Reborn, getting a trait for your unit is crucial as it enhances the stats and abilities of your characters. While luck plays a significant role in acquiring powerful traits, you still have control over your choices. Once you unlock a worthy unit, the first thing you should focus on is giving it a trait. However, not all traits are created equal, and knowing which ones are best suited for your strategy will make a huge difference. The traits pity system in Roblox Anime Reborn is a game changer. With each 200 rolls, you're guaranteed to unlock one of the best traits, which could be mythic or secret. This makes it much easier to acquire the rare traits compared to other Roblox Tower Defense games, where getting the best traits can be almost impossible without extensive grinding. Roblox Anime Reborn Traits Tier List All Traits Ranked In Roblox Anime Reborn, the traits are divided into different tiers, with S tier containing the absolute best traits. Here's a breakdown of the traits and their rankings. S tier, the best traits in Roblox Anime Reborn. S tier traits are the most powerful and sought after in the game. These traits not only boost damage, but also improve speed, range, and special abilities. They're perfect for players looking to maximize the potential of their units. Demon. This trait combines a massive damage boost with reduced SBA speed per attack, making it one of the most well-rounded traits in the game. Ethereal, known for boosting both regular damage and damage over time. Effects, Ethereal is fantastic for units with dot abilities. If the unit doesn't have that, it's still a solid A-tier option. Slayer, while it offers a great damage boost, it doesn't offer anything else, which makes it a bit more limited than some of the other S-tier traits. Paladin. Arguably the best trait in the game, Paladin provides a massive damage buff to allies while granting random buffs. It's an excellent choice for support-focused strategies. Miracle. Statistically, this trait provides the most buffs in terms of damage, SBA reduction, and range. However, it's limited to only one unit on the field at a time, which can restrict its usage. Heavenly, a great support trait that boosts the damage of all allies within range. While not the most powerful mythic trait, it's highly valuable for any team composition. A tier trait's strong but not top tier. These traits are still highly useful and should not be overlooked. While they aren't as game-changing as S-tier traits, they still provide substantial benefits to your units. Anubis, essentially Agile 4. Anubis reduces the SBA, improving the overall attack speed of the unit. Exploder provides a huge damage boost but lacks the utility of other traits, keeping it from reaching the S tier. Wealth, a unique trait that boosts money earned. If you don't have a dedicated farm unit, wealth can be very useful as it gives a 25% increase in money gained from kills. B tier traits, good, but could be better. These traits are decent for units early on, but as you progress, you'll likely want to replace them with stronger traits. Archer, think of it as Sniper 4. Great for range, but there are better options. Agile 3, a solid attack speed boost, perfect for speeding up units at the start of the game. Potential, Great for quick leveling, but not ideal for endgame units. It's a temporary trait. Warrior 3. A nice damage boost, especially if the unit is legendary or higher. C. Tier traits. Solid, but nothing more. These traits are serviceable, but there are more powerful options out there. You'll likely want to re-roll these traits once you get better options. Sniper 2 and 3. 
adds range to your unit, but it's not the best when compared to other traits. Agile 2, a decent trait for attack speed, but there are better options at higher levels. Warrior 2, a decent damage boost, but it won't dramatically change the outcome of the battle. D-tier traits re-roll immediately. These traits are the weakest in the game and should be re-rolled ASAP if you receive them. They offer minimal improvements to your units and are usually a waste of resources. Warrior I, only a 5% damage boost, which is underwhelming. Agile I, while it does provide a small SBA reduction, it also comes with a minus 5% attack speed, making it a subpar choice. Sniper 1 and 2, small increases in range don't make a significant impact on the game. Understanding the Roblox Anime Reborn Traits list, let's dive into a more detailed Roblox Anime Reborn Traits list, including their rarity and description. This will help you identify the best traits for your units and make the right reroll decisions. Trait Rarity Description Warrior I Rare plus 5% damage. Warrior 2 Rare plus 10% damage. Warrior 3 Epic plus 15% damage. Agile I Rare minus 5% SBA. Agile 2 Rare minus 8% SBA. Agile 3 Epic minus 12% SBA. Sniper I Rare plus 5% range. Sniper 2 rare plus 10% range. Sniper 3 epic plus 15% range. Anubis legendary minus 17.5% SBA. Potential legendary plus 40% experience. Archer legendary plus 25% range. Wealth legendary plus 25% yen per kill. Exploder legendary plus 25% damage. Slayer Mythical plus 25% damage. Increases DMG dealt based on missing HP. Heavenly Mythical plus 20% DMG. Plus 5% range per ally. Max 30%. Ethereal Mythical plus 20% DMG. Plus 5% range. Plus 20% damage. Demon Mythical plus 20% DMG. Reduces SBA for eliminations. Paladin Secret plus 100 DMG, plus 10% range. Random buffs on attack. Miracle Secret plus 300 DMG, minus 10 SBA, plus 20% range. Random buffs. How to reroll traits in Roblox Anime Reborn. Rerolling traits is an essential part of optimizing your units in Roblox Anime Reborn. Here's how to do it effectively. Use trait reroll tickets. You'll need reroll tickets to change the traits on your units. These can be acquired through daily missions or by purchasing them in the shop. Target high tier traits. Focus on rerolling for S tier traits, particularly Demon, Paladin, Miracle, and Heavenly. Pity system. Keep in mind that with the pity system, you're guaranteed to get a mythic or secret trait after 200 rolls. So, be patient and keep your rerolls consistent. Don't settle. If you roll a D or C tier trait, don't hesitate to reroll it immediately. The goal is to have top tier traits for each unit, so don't settle for anything less. Final thoughts reroll, equip, and dominate. In Roblox Anime Reborn, traits are a game changing feature that can make your units invincible. Whether you're focusing on maximizing damage, boosting your attack speed, or supporting your team, choosing the right traits is crucial for success. By following this guide, you now have the knowledge to re-roll effectively, understand which traits are the best for your units, and dominate the competition. Remember, the pity system ensures that with enough patience, you'll eventually land one of the best traits. Combine that with the best units in the game, and you'll be an unstoppable force in Roblox Anime Reborn. Keep re-rolling, keep grinding, and soon you'll have the ultimate team